Tom Strat fans, Colonel Strat, Strategy Extraordinaire. Um, so it's been a little bit, and I apologize. I just want to take this time to apologize to you guys real quick about uh, the, the late upload. I, um, I had a bunch of uh, bunch of problems come up, and um, you know my wife was supposed to go um, take care of something, but she couldn't, so I had to go accompany my father-in-law. Um, and it pretty much took all day for this, for the proceeding to, to take care, to be taken care of. Um, so that's why I was un unable to upload yesterday. Um, I tried to take the Sundays off to spend time with my wife and then in the morning record these, these videos so that they get posted in the evening, um, you know, before I go to work. But, uh... It's just, it was hard to do it yesterday, so I apologize for this late upload, but I will be planning on uploading this and the Dawn of War one today, so um, expect those ones to come out, come through today. Um, another thing about our save, um, <clears throat> so here we are in a good old US of A. Now, one thing I will say about our save is that um, I did add a few mods. Um, there was a mod that I added that changes the, um, I, I feel like it was a good change, but some people may find it controversial, and instead of having the, uh, decrees based on authority, which, you know, as the United States or any dem democratic nation, you're not, not gonna have a lot, and even as autocratic nations, you only have so much, um, decrees are instead based on bureaucracy and how many people you have can limit what decrees you have so if you look around here i do have some road maintenance decrees and um decrees for like let's see i think it's just road maintenance um yeah i think it's just road maintenance let me see, let's see exactly yeah, I got like road maintenance decree, um, but um, in the future, once we get our bureaucracy up, we can employ more of these decrees um, instead of, and we can do like these ones for more industry or for culture or, or greener grass. I'm going to try to do greener grass so I can increase our um, our population. Um, I've played a lot of Vicky Three in the past uh, <laughs> past week. I've actually got a couple other save games going where I'm getting close to the end game, and I'm enjoying it a lot, but um, <clears throat> I'm learning a lot too. I'm learning a lot of laws, and there was one other mod I enabled that fixed an issue we were having with our legitimacy. So apparently when you employ a lot of certain mods um, that I see as essential, like the automation mod that allows you to, you know, um, work on things other than just constantly building in your country. Even though building is fun, I like to have a little bit more automation, you know, so like this, some, the, these ones right here, some automatic expansion means that you click it on and certain buildings will be automatically expanded and certain ones won't. I've also taken the liberty to, um, change out the, uh, some of the building, um, modes. Um, cause if you look at this here, it can look a little confusing, um, like for tooling workshops here, you need coal. It can look a little confusing, and if you see that input shortage one, don't do it. But this, but this right here, this substitution shows you how much more money you'll be making, because you'll yes, you'll lose employment, which will cause some radicals, but um, they'll be able to go and search for other jobs, so you can build more things. Um, I feel like that's a that's a great way to do that. Um, there are some. Like this one here, I could change it and I just get a pr pr production boost. Um, I want to do publicly traded, but see, it takes a little while to get qualifications. So qualifications are based on your literacy. So I have a lot of folks that don't have qualifications. Now you see, I don't have qualifications for these or any of these. I want to get, you know, repeating rifles and smooth bores, but I don't have enough qualifications, so I fire a lot of people, and you know it, it 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 wouldn't be it wouldn't be worth it in the long run, because you'd fire a lot of people in the short term, and you'd lose a lot of workers, and people get upset because they're fired um, from their jobs. 
but in the long run, it'll turn a profit. And, it, and that's all based on this, hold on. It's all based on this number right here. If that's positive, then it's a worthwhile change. And if there's no input shortages or qualification problems, then it's a worthwhile change. It's like right here, qualification problems, input shortage, it's not gonna be worth it, but you wanna work towards that because that's a lot of money improved in our budget. Like right here, that's a lot. These sewing machines, really good, really good. Uh, I have urban developments as well. Citrus, harvesting tools, that's uh, another thing. I forgot to equip harvesting tools, which is a big thing. <laughs> so enrichment, really good, but again, you're going to lose because not a lot of them can be, can be farmers. But I'm going to do that because that's going to increase my production on these maize farms so much. And it really depends on how many you have. Do intensive grazing. I'm gonna do slaughterhouses because that's really good too. Coal mines, atmospheric. Again, not a lot of qualifications for these engineers and me mechanists, but it it work it's working in the long run because you're gonna be able to get a lot more. Sometimes it glitches, but right here, not enough explosives, so I have to change that before I can get it. So I've just been going through making these small edits so that I can, uh, you know, get get more production. But um, the one thing I was going to tell you was the legitimacy. So we've had this problem with legitimacy for the longest time, and um, I found a way to 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 do it. Um, I mean, right here, this is this is pretty good, but. Um, Remember when we had a, a couple episodes back where we would just always go down? Um, I found out that was due to a bug due to having those uh, those uh, those mods enabled. So I fixed that, patched that with a mod, and now we should be on, on the up and up. So um, without further ado, Strat fans, <coughs> I'm going to keep going on this campaign today. And we're going to try to um, to better ourselves and in in achieve the American dream. Now, my my next my next um, goal should be to enact public health insurance, but I don't think that's I don't know if that's going to happen. I do want to colonize this, so I think I have my colonies um, active. So we'll go to. Um, yeah, establish colony, yeah. And we'll continue to establish colony trying to beat the uh, the Mexicans to the punch. Because um, that, that that's always going to be good. But um, we do need to, to beat up the Mexicans. It should be easy to beat them up. I don't think they have any allies. Oh, they do. They do with uh, El Salvador, Honduras, and uh, so all South American nations that are not going to be a threat. Yeah, Honduras, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. Yeah, only like three battalions, whereas I have 300. So I think I'll be just fine. And I'm going to, in fact, try to take some of these states. I think you can, there's a special thing you can do. Um, what is it called? Return state? Is that what it was? Yeah, return state. But I don't think we have that, so we'll just do Conquer State. And we'll do uh, Utah. Now the, now, the Brits may side with them, but um, we have cordial relations. I should start improving relations with the Brits. What about the... I'm a neutral with the Russians. So, let's do that first. Let's go to... Actions, good relations with Great Britain, Russia. So, again, when you're doing diplomatic plays, you have to really um, scope out who your competition is going to be. See, like, these guys will join. I'll have to deal with these guys. These guys will join me, the Indian ter Territory, but it's only three. But they'll be able to deal with all the allies. But these would be the problem. Hudson Bay, 
Great Britain and Russia. If Great Britain and Russia join in, then it'll be hard to deal with. But, uh, okay, we have isolated American... Uh, okay, well, let's build railway, I believe. And American New Mexico, railway for you. All right. So, um, we, we were looking okay, but we were gaining a little bit of radicals, probably due to legitimacy, standard of living decreases. Um, one thing I did see about standard of living um, is uh, looking at this. I can see how much they pay. So, I have to focus on grain, most of all and clothes and groceries but groceries i think uh, well i did add a mod that allows me to look at the population here so yeah clothes grain fabric groceries um fish all of those will help the impoverished so let's uh we're gonna focus on those because i was focusing on the wrong things but because we are making fat stacks, we probably should try to expand our our construction sectors. I am going to expand them even more. Yeah, I think that the more you have, the better. So I'm going to expand that much and uh, try to get them produced first. It will cost me a little bit of, uh, of money, but um, it won't be, it, it, it'll, it'll pay off in the long run. So let's keep going, 48K, that's pretty good. We're doing pretty good, Strat fans. We just gotta try to expand our, our industries, our construction sectors, expand those so that we get more construction points. And, um, I do want to expand my bureaucracy as well, so I can get more um, decrees enacted, because that's that's a big problem right now, is decrees. All right, there's our government. It's illegitimate again. I don't know if that's just... Oh, oh, that, I know why that is. Yeah, because the intelligentsia isn't in it. Okay. All right, now it's legitimate. There we go. So now we have... Um, that, that's really good. Migration attraction is a really good bonus. And we have big, a big workforce in rich ratio as well. Now, we, we do have a pacifist, but I don't think he'll oppose us going to war. So we do have some states still in turmoil. Still have some high tensions. Still have low market access, so we will have to up the railroad industry. And we have expensive government goods and low taxation. New York, I'm going to fix that taxation problem. Let's let's look at the uh, low market access. Let's see which ones we can fix. Okay, so West Virginia, you really need some market access. So let's do more of those. Okay, we are going to start, and we might dip into the negatives, but um, I'm hoping not. That's, that's good. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that we can, you know... Okay, donation of knowledge. Look at the industrial some influence. Nah. Don't want them to have influence. Alright, so we're trying to, uh... I'm gonna try to get as many construction sectors as possible built. Let's build a few more. Yeah. No, I don't want four there. Just, no, I want three. Alright, I think that'll be good. Let's just uh, cancel the ones that were four.
Minnesota, Missouri. Go Missouri. There we go. All right. Now, again, this is going to take. Um, we're, our economy is going to take a hit, but the amount of construction we can do and expansion we can make is going to really help our um, our uh, our standard of living. So, and, and in turn, that's going to help our radical problem. So again, I've spent a lot more time in the game, and I've started to learn some tricks. And I've, and what I've learned is you don't want to focus. Oh, there we go. Two healthcare system. That's pretty good. All right. Um, let's see what policy would be next. Um, also, I I've looked at policies too. So there's a couple policies like we have protectionism, which is really good. The uh, the amount of uh, Tariffs we get on on trade is really good, but interventionism, uh, it's not so good. Laissez faire is probably the best, or a command economy. Um, guaranteed liberties really really good for reducing radicals. Multiculturalism, I I, I pretty much have what I needed, um, but it's the taxation. If I can get proportional taxation, that gives me so much more because it gets on dividends. So, but the thing is, it's going to take a long time to do because. The only one who endorses it are trade unions. Nobody else is going to endorse it. Um, so it's going to be a little, little little, tricky to do. I do have some a bureaucracy deficit, so let's, uh, let's get those bureaucratic sectors built up. Let's see. Yeah. Spreading this out. Another thing I, f I found out was um, if you spread things out that's inefficient, um, and as well, check the peasants, because sometimes you need people that are peasants to be able to work. Um, so like, here in uh, Pennsylvania, that's pretty good. So I'm going to do quite a bit of government building, buildings there. But the more I go down, the less peasants I have. Unemployed can also work, but you need to make sure you have enough for your expansion, or else you're, you're going to suffer and not going to get enough people to fill the things up. So that's why we're... And that's why we're having these problems, because I didn't know about them. <laughs> I didn't pay too much attention. So, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on those now, and hopefully I can turn things around. But what I was saying was, you don't want to worry about standard of living early on. You want to worry about making money, because if you can make money, then eventually you can pr you can produce enough construction sectors so that you can set them on automatic expand for the for the resources that people want. And then it'll auto expand, and over time you'll see this standard of living tick up and up and up. And that's what happened in my Germany game, because um, again I focused on what Germany had, which was their raw resources, like specifically coal. I, I spammed out a whole bunch of coal mines. I was making fat stacks, and I was able to turn my country around, and eventually was able to focus on, you know, other buildings that pumped up my uh, my standard of living and then people loved me and you know the more the more construction sectors you have the more expensive things are but it also the more construction sectors you have the more construction you can do the more things you can build at once and that means the faster you expand the faster this number goes up Does that makes sense draft fans you also want to look at market access um, you don't want to ignore that or ignore these, the, the expensive goods and all that. You want to be able to, you know, be producing and expanding and, and providing for your people. So right now, you see, we are in a, de in a deficit of income, but give it a little bit of time. That won't, uh, we won't be in that. I am going to get these government administration buildings built first. But, because uh, again, uh, the mod I did that rem that um, changed the whole uh, decree system is going to work wonders as well. I think Pennsylvania, yeah, we're making them 10 weeks. Need to fix that bureaucratic thing. Yeah, the market access is horrible. It's something I really wanted to fix, so I worked really hard on fixing it. And um, you see already, our standard of living is going up, so we're going to get a lot more loyalists, a lot less radicals. 
um, we're going to be able to turn the country around, but we might take a hit in our economy to do it. But after, after we expand, you see all these things auto-expanding, um, things that probably wouldn't auto-expand before because they were on the, on the queue. The more construction you have, the more you can expand. So you want to always continue to expand your construction. That way you can continue to expand your production. All right, raising concerns. That's the concern about going to the building. Well, I mean, yeah, I kind of like them because they make me money. See already, we're turning a profit now. Um, I'm hoping that we can bring our bureaucratic shortfall back. Okay, there we go. Now we're back to regular bureaucracy, but we're starting to turn a profit because we're able to um, expand our stuff. So I am going to put all of these on expansion because I want to expand them all. But another thing, build modes is something that I overlooked and it can be a problem, but when you have enough qualifications and enough stuff importing and enough uh, supply and all that, then it's, there's no reason not to because you're just missing out on money. Like right now, I don't have enough for this, but once I do, I'm going to be getting a whole lot of money. And it, it gives you better paying jobs too, so it does help your citizens with their standard of living problems too. So we need more qualifications, but I could do it individually as well. So right here. And then slowly but surely, see like right there they didn't have enough qualifications. Slowly but surely, they'll get enough. Do baking powder here. Do we do it here? We can. So you see, we're going to get more production, better stuff. Might even be able to get publicly traded, yeah. So, and that just increases our, our, our money. That's all it does. So again, like here not enough qualifications so we'll keep it as is but it's really tedious so that's why I did it off camera because I didn't want to have y'all sit through that because it is very tedious to do but it does help in the long run New York is probably the best one for all this because it's going to produce it's got the most um, it's got the most um, educated people so it's, it's going to produce the most because qualifications on New York are really high. They have a lot of qualifications. But um, if we expand our qualifications, you'll see this go up and we'll be able to hire more and more better people. It took a lot of time to understand that, Strat fans, but I figured it out. And um, now I'm so glad that I did because we can really turn around any game. So like you see our standard of living keeps climbing up, so we're getting a whole bunch of loyalists. Even though our economy is kind of tanking, we're able to improve it. We just have to make sure we have enough, um, enough workers. So again, like the bureaucracy. So I'm going to try to expand my uh, bureaucracy so that I can employ more workers by enacting those, those decrees because um, they'll increase my mig migration. Um, but migration already is increased because of the, uh, because of the popular pops. Oh, boiler explosion. Uh, so we either want upper strata, middle strata, or the lower strata to be radical. I'll, I'll do upper strata because that's less radicals. Yeah, but we're already losing so many because we're doing so well. We just have to work on this market access. And for that, we just have to increase infrastructure. So again, I could do that for, via decree, which I really don't want to do. I want to save my bureaucracy for like migration and production. And, you know, th thinking of that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and just, and just queue all those up because I'm going to enact them. And it's already, right, we're getting a lot more people now. And right, we got steel frame buildings. That's gonna be good. It's gonna increase our production even more. It's 
I'm going to get a lot of bureaucracy from this. Alright, so let's see. Steel frame buildings. That's a lot of materials required. But I think we can do it. Let's change. Uh, yeah. So we're going to lose a lot of money. And a lot of workers. Because they don't have the qualifications. But sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. So I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix that um, issue that we're going to have. So um, I am going to unlock all of these different uh, you know, structure sectors real quick. That works. Let's see. What's our shortages? Do we have shortages? Finalization of Colorado completed. That's cool. That's good. Awesome. So where's Colorado? Okay, I guess the Mexicans just own a lot of it. Um, we do have to incorporate all these states, but that shouldn't be a problem once we have enough bureaucracy. But yeah, look, already so much more construction. We're losing a lot of money because of it, but it's going to really amp up our construction, and we're going to be able to produce so many different things. Look, we're already producing all these ports and all that to increase the uh, infrastructure on the coastline. So that's going to really improve our, 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 whole, our whole thing. Now we are going to get some radicals because of firings and all that, but trust me, it'll work. And the fact that this number ain't red means that we still have plenty in the gold reserves and that we'll make it back over time. All right, so let's, uh, let's get these ports improved and all that. Good structure, and market access and all that, so that'll... That'll help us a lot, even though it will drive up the price of clippers. Colonization of Wyoming. Okay. So, Wyoming is colonized. Uh, that's actually a full state. That's a full state right there. Market access is poor, though, so we're going to have to improve that. We're going to run maybe a couple more minutes just so that we can get all of this built up. I want to see a, I want to see a profit before we end today, Strapman. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a moment. Oh, boy, that's not good. I knew that was going to happen eventually. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, we might go into a deficit a little bit, but um, it will go back up, especially once our, now that our, our stuff is in middling right now. All right, so let's take this let's take this moment to. Um, do some tactical decrees. Now, um, to do this, we're going to look at our rural buildings, like our specifically our production buildings here, and we're going to see where they're at. So New York has seven. So the more you have in a province, the more it's uh, the more it's it's going to it's going to work. Now I only have one in all these ones, but Ohio, Kentucky, and I think there was one more. Just Ohio. Oh, Pennsylvania has six. So we'll do some decrees for these, for like logging, fishing, whaling, mines. So Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York. And we just go to Teak, but checking out bureaucracy. Let's do uh, so. Yeah, we should be producing a lot more. We do need to work on our um, infrastructure or our industry as well. Yeah, we pan nationalism, that's good. And we'll do an agriculture one. And that'll probably be it. Alright. Now, all of these are going to really help our economy because the agriculture ones are going to help um, us to make um, to make more like plantations and all that we're losing up we're, we're dropping very heavily but um, I think we'll be fine because eventually we'll make all that back Refine our production lower consumption prices specialized good in motor industries, two motor industries in a state okay so yeah, unhealthy economy. I knew we were going to have that right now, but that's okay. Because um, our standard of living is going up. Our bureaucracy is going up. Which means we're going to have a lot more 
um, a lot better stuff. So let's hope that the um, all the automatic buildings will queue. They should queue once we build all these things. They should, they should go into the queue. And then I'm going to just activate as many decrees, decrees as possible. Let's, uh, let's add a consumption tax. Try to, I mean, it's not going to really help much because our economy is just that unhealthy. Let's do the southern states first. For agriculture. And then we'll do more industry up here. Starting to make a little bit more, but we, we, we're really hurting right now. I think I'm making too many. Uh, let's lower down that so we can make something other than just government administration. Though, yeah, well, okay, okay. I think that did kind of help. Uh, but then it went right back up to minus, so we're going to start going into the credit. <sighs> well, that's okay. We've got a whole lot of decrees available now. Pretty much in every state, you can have two decrees. I will do these as well. Alright, we'll stop with the decrees. But yeah, we're going to start going into credit now. We will have to deal with that. But hopefully we'll get plenty of uh, expansion that we won't have to worry about it soon. We are getting quite a bit of uh, loyalists because our standard of living has gone up tremendously. All right, there we go. We're starting to peel back the balance deficit. All right, let's uh, let's try to do um, some cooperation. Cooperate, Arkansas. There we go. Okay, that will work. Um, yeah. Those two. Oh, no, I didn't want to. Okay. Kansas. We'll incorporate those. We'll incorporate them. Alright. Yeah, that's starting to good, look good. Look up. Alright. We do have to worry about this market access, but it is going up as well because we're going to be able to expand all of that. We're expanding a whole bunch of random stuff, but even though it looks random, it is going to help our economy. Every single one of them. Because they're all new jobs. More people are going to flock to it. It's going to increase the standard of living. We're already at 16, so we're at middling 16 right now. Let's see what rank that is in the world. That's number 10 worldwide. Um, yeah, I mean, the Netherlands is what is the only one who's beating us that really means anything. Okay, modern nursing. Yeah, we don't have access to any of that, so... I'm going to have to do some colonies or something. Oh, we have a Sioux uprising again. These colonizations are paused, okay? So, uh, they got nothing. No. Yeah, that's the only world we got. Alright, well, Sioux are trying again. 
Yeah, nobody's gonna, gonna join. Nobody's gonna join. So it's just us versus them. We'll mobilize, though. Let's mobilize these guys. And we'll put him on here to advance the front. Alright. Blah, 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 no. Come on. I need to focus on getting my economy healthy. Okay, okay, who are they? Francophone. So they're Catholics. Catholics are going to be easy. Sounds good to me. Alright. Come back at me again with that unhealthy economy bullshit. Another war, Strat fans, but it's gonna be quick again. Don't want that recovery rate going down. I have a fight here, but yeah, the Sioux. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, buddies. Uh, okay, we got one front that's unmanned. Okay. Uh, guess I have to mobilize him that front. There. Still doing good. Um, just got unused production. Come on. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now they're starting to ramp up the production. <laughs> population. We are going to expand our, uh, our rural sector a lot more. So... Let's see, what are we unhealthy on? Okay, so explosives. Need more explosives. Let's um, expand the rural sector some more. Kentucky. Yeah, you can make a lot in Kentucky. Six, and then that's ten. That's twenty. Alright, so we'll do twenty in Kentucky. 20 coal mine. All right, that uh, that should tick down <laughs> eventually. I need to get this war done. Now, um, we've conquered you. Can you please give up? All right, there's some more construction stuff to throw up. So that's going to be really good. We do need to help to, to stop going into credit, though, because that's a big problem right now. And we've got a lot of society innovations. Let's do a production one again. Let's do Steam Bucky. All right. That is not looking good. Come on. Give up. Well, now we're at 724 for our construction. So our construction is insane right now. We're able to accommodate so much more construction. Build things all over the nation, really. Come on. Post peace deal. Alright. Annex you, but again, I don't annex you. Okay. Whatever. As long as the war is over. Uh, I need to focus on my economy. There we go. So let's look at the um, let's look at another um, easy building to expand. Plant the sugar plantation. So we have a lot of um, peasants in Georgia. That's six, do six, and then have um, fifteen. Fifteen in Georgia. And um, what about sulfur mines? Minnesota. Increase that. Thompson will increase it. The thing is, we need to get some migration. We need to get more peasants to work these. And that's another thing. We have to work on our market access, too. Because that's really what's tanking our economy, too. Market access. If I increase taxes, that will be a problem. But it, I might have to do it to save my economy in the end game. Let's do... Um, yeah, we're going to have to do these. And it, it'll, it'll hurt them right now. But 
I guarantee you it'll be better in the long run. I'm going to keep that like that, though. I'm not going to mess with that. But I am going to mess with these production method because it is going to increase our, our, our way of making money. It's also going to increase the amount of people that can take these other jobs. Cause a lot of radicals, but I feel like it'll be better in the long run. Smooth bores, yep. And we're going to do repeating rifles. And explosive shells. Covered glass and steel. Uh, we'll, we'll get it. Again, take a bit of a hit. Oh, geez, we took a big hit there. Jesus. Ah, uh, fuck. We have a whole lot of problems. I'm productive. Okay, take that off then. Ah, uh, Jesus. Input shortages for gas. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of problems. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus. But, um, I think that'll free up some more construction. Yeah, so we're starting to be able to produce more construction and get through. <sighs> gonna be difficult to turn around I don't want to go into into debt yeah I know we're in a downward spiral of the economy but I can't help it all right let's uh let's fix this uh, whole um, railway problem I don't even care if they don't have enough workers. I, I need to get this market access problem fixed. I need to get it fixed. Because that is way too many states that have market access problems. Whew. I hate to leave the episode off like this, but I feel like I might have to, Strat fans. Um, we're in a good position politically, but economically we're in a terrible position. That's pretty good. Let's uh, change that method for chemical plants. Yeah, we'll do that. Even though, again, that's going to hit our economy and hit our political problems. But I think we've increased the, their standard of living so much that I don't think they'll even really care for the for, for, for first amount. But um, we do have to work on expanding all of these industries. Um, and I think the fact that we're able to produce so much it's going to really turn our turn our economy around in the long run but uh we might have to get real close to all right edmund hubbard okay okay i want to try to do proportional taxation let's try to do that because that's going to help us swing this around if we do proportional and it's going to take a while to get the boiler explosion Oh jeez, really? Hmm. Eh, that's fine. I'll have to suffer with it. I can't afford to lose a consumption tax, right? So I'll just suffer with it. I just I can't get my my economy back up. I'm not me. We're, we're low on dyes. Let's see if we can import. It. Works. 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 And that's a lot of bureaucracy too. So maybe we can. Do some more decrees. Yeah, we'll do some more. T oh, because of our. Even though authority, even though the mod makes it to where authority isn't a problem, it still is a problem. So I'll take this one off. Even though it's gonna hurt me a little bit, it's not as bad. So let's do a decree. Um, 
let's try to solve it. So we'll go Arkansas. Um, Vermont or Florida. Carolina. Virginia. Just enough to get them over the edge. Yes! Proportional taxation. That's awesome. Look at look at that. Look at how much that saved us. Uh I think that just saved our place for the Okay. Louisiana. That would be it, but maybe Yeah, that did that did help some market access. So that's gonna that's gonna help. And uh yeah, we're we're slowly getting our economy back. So thank thankfully that proportional taxation really helped a lot. It did. And now we're gonna start um getting our economy back on the ropes. Um once we get these uh so we get this market access sorted out, it's going to really pick up. Yeah, the railways are going to help out a lot. Oh, there we go. We're starting to make profit now. Now we're going to clear out our debt. Alrighty, because we're, we're starting to increase market access. That's, that's why our, our profit's going up now. All right. That will, and that will probably be it for today, Strat fans, because I think it's a good way to uh, end the episode <laughs> as we're starting to uh, make our stacks back. <laughs> uh, that was a wild ride, wasn't it, guys? All right, well, tune in next week, Strat fans, and I'll continue this. I hope you like this campaign so far. We've actually increased our prestige as well. We're at rank three, so we're doing really well. We're middling 18, five, number five in the world. Um, so we're actually pretty much top tier on all the civilized nations. Um, I, I, I hate to call like, you know, the natives not civilized, but some of their, some of them, um, they just have standard of living because they don't have that many people and it's easy to please them. So, um, the fact that we have middling for ours, um, really stands to the test that we made some good decisions. All right, so it's been a bit of a rocky road, but we're doing, going to be doing really well next turn, next time, and um, I'm going to set my sights on Mexico and taking some land off of them. So, without further ado, Strat fans, that'll do it for me. Take it, take take it easy today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Keep it strategic, Strat fans. Colonel out.